Oh, okay, here's a little run through on this surfacing and material for these balls. Uh, really, there are no lights in the scene. There's one down here for some testing I was doing, but right now the only thing lighting the scene are the environments. And these images here are actually pieces that I had made using HDR Light Studio. Uh, pretty nifty little app if you have got the time or the money to be able to pick it up. Uh, but I made the uh, initial maps there, then I broke them out and rendered them separately so I can get a little bit of control over what happens. As you can see, they each have a little bit different to show. All, right. but all together, they kind of add up to this nice little uh, map. Now overall, right here's this image here. All of these pieces fit into that. I mean, uh, I've got a diffuse color. It's kind of sitting on top of everything, All right? Uh, this constant stuff uh, for some other things. Right here is what's really happening. This gradient and this gradient. This one's con uh, controlling the reflection amount. But without it, it's just that HDR image really blows everything out. But this is what's happening right there. I'll show you that in a second. And I've got a diffuse channel that's multiplying some things. All right. And then down here into the material. What's really happening that's giving this really nice, uh, a little bit of a Fresnel is this clear coat amount. I've got that jacked up pretty high. Turn it off and you can see what it is. You still get the reflection and everything, but really that clear coat's adding some nice to it. All right. But here I'll, I'll uh, kind of we'll zoom in and see what's going on over here for a second. Let me see. Right in here. I'll get the idea. I'll switch over to this. We'll really be able to see what's happening. Right, right in here. This gradient's controlling that. So over here at 100 is in the center of that ball as it falls off. It's just an incidence angle, nothing special. And it falls off into this trough, it goes out to zero, and it fades up kind of quick back to 100 right in here. You'll see it as I move this around a little bit. Right. A lot of things you can, a lot of things you can do with gradients. I've always liked gradients. Let me see. Let me grab this. Strange places, strange things you can do with gradients. Kind of fun. You see, I've got this. It almost looks like there's an extra surface there. It's a little bit of a, a strange kind of transparency on the uh, on that render in there. And uh, let's see what was the other one uh, down here in this gradient. Not hard to see. I mean, you get the idea of playing with these a little bit. Right, it's, it's set on multiply, so it just sits on top or sits at the bottom, and it just gives a nice little extra control over that color gradient that goes to over here. Uh, let's see, the shader was just uh, these things here. Got it kind of medium control. There's no subsurface. That was, it just takes too long for what's going on here. Uh, conserve energy. Not doing a whole lot there, but it's on. Reflection mounts 50%. Now let's see, without this reflection, kind of see what's happening. It's just taking that whole image and then on. And I also, I've got actually two environments here. This uh, reflection amount isn't even visible to the camera, right? 
I wanted to have a little extra control, so I dropped another small gradient in there, and that's the one that's visible to the camera. hex pattern. Kind of hard to control because it's just the way it, the way that image maps onto a sphere it just doesn't work out that well so it's I have to be really judicial with where I want to put this. I kind of like it but uh, right now for these molecules it's going to be hard to control once once they get more complex. You know, I've got a constant down here just in case I want to change some of those values easy to do. I've got this one up on top, just really playing with these. Now, uh, what the example is, well, we've got that top, mainly that top highlight coming in and giving a good hot spot. But here in the texture locators, it's right here, let me see. gives me a good opportunity so I can kind of adjust this separately. If I kept this as one HDR image, you, know, you just lose a little bit of the flexibility. So it was nice being in a HDR studio where I could render out each one of those lights separately and then just combine them in here for a little bit of a stacked effect that I can control these a little, a little bit better. Let me see, where's this? Or if I wanted to put this highlight right down at the bottom. Yeah, but that's about it, really. I mean, there's really nothing too special going on here. Uh, what was that? Add one in here. We got this kind of down on draft mode, so it kind of updates a little bit quicker. keeps dropping it down across that uh, surface. 20, 20 or 30 is about where I was using it, maybe 20. That center surface right there, we got these replicate. Uh, Either way, you get the idea. The material is really controlled and looks kind of nice by the uh, the gradient on that reflection amount. The obviously the uh, lighting system here and that clear coat. You take the clear coat out, and it's kind of dead, you know. Okay, that's about it.